Hello everyone, I haven't done one of these editorial discussion videos, but I wanted to give it a try. This won't be a regular thing, just something I might do if inspiration hits me. And today I want to talk about an upcoming animated film that seems to generate sneers whenever it's brought up, and that's the Emoji Movie, or as it's now titled, Emoji Movie Express Yourself. In a way, I can kind of understand it, after all, a film based on those little emoticons. However, I think it holds a lot of potential, and from the standing of that, allow me to go briefly into its history. Now, one might easily assume this project came about because some higher up at Sony Pictures said, Hey, those little smiley faces on your telephone? The youngsters like that. Make me a movie on them. In actuality, the film was thought up by former Disney and DreamWorks artist Anthony Leondis, who pitched it to a number of studios. This pitch was so good, it created a bidding war between Warner Brothers, Paramount, and Sony, with Sony ultimately winning. Recently, Sony Pictures has had a lot of restructuring in their corporate ranks. Most infamously, the top chairperson, Amy Pascal, was fired and replaced by Tom Rothman. However, Sony Pictures Animation also found the previous head of the unit, Bob Osher, removed. And now, Christine Belson, a former Jim Henson company and DreamWorks Animation employee who produced The Croods and executive produced How to Train Your Dragon, is in charge of the unit. In this new position, she has sought to make Sony Pictures Animation even more filmmaker friendly and nurturing a lot of creative voices while also allowing the experimentation of animation. The upcoming slate of animated films, which include the nativity story The Star and an animated Spider-Man movie with the involvement of Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, looks very promising. Their next project is a fully animated Smurfs movie that seeks to make a far more faithful take on the original Pale comic books than any other previous adaptation has done. If you have not yet, I highly recommend giving the production blog handled by the film's director Kelly Asbury a look. You can tell how much passion they're putting into Smurfs The Lost Village, as it's currently called. Back to Emoji, Sony Animation is actually the perfect home for it, as that catalog seems to consist of simple ideas that they go wild with and take in multiple creative directions. Cloud with a Chance of Meatballs is just a book with illustrations featuring unusual food weather. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller looked at these images and decided, hey, let's turn this into a parody of disaster movies. They try to replicate as much of the illustrations as possible while also adding some of their own original ideas, as well as character designs that were essentially 3D versions of their characters from their animated series Clone High. They also expanded on the book's ideas. For one scene, they were just going to use the exterior of the Jello House, but then somebody on the production team said, why don't we go inside, leading to one of the funniest scenes in the entire film. Ditto Surf's Up, which started off as just a movie about surfing penguins, and when trying to think of the right angle, the directors realized they could turn into a legit surfing documentary, and then the characters can naturally spring from that. Hotel Transylvania also started life with the simple pitch of a hotel with classic movie monsters, and when Gendy Tartakovsky came on board to direct, he turned it into basically a feature-length Tex Avery cartoon. With Emoji, the plot synopsis that's been revealed definitely feels suited for the creativity usually exhibited by Sony Animation Productions, as the film centers around a group of emojis who decide to leave Emoji Valley and travel to different areas of the smartphone, including a music streaming app and other destinations. There's so much room there for clever parodies on the everyday apps used by many people. The plot certainly sounds like something out of Wreck-It Ralph, which is actually a plus in my book. And funnily enough, that movie's sequel also appears to be about its electronic characters traveling to a variety of internet websites. Looks like we got another Deep Impact Armageddon situation on our hands, though these two are opening many months apart. But I look forward to both of them. If the writers can create characters we genuinely care about, and a riveting journey full of adventure and humor, there's so much potential there for a good film. Let me know in the comments whether you're anticipating Emoji Movie Express Yourself as much as I am, and I'll see you next time.